Okay, too slow, too slow, too slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. All right, that's better, that's better, that's better, that's better. Here we go, here we go, here we go, everybody. How you doing? I'm JB. And this is Discovery Bay Comics with another edition of the Comic Book Pop-Up Shop Show. I've got a couple of guest hosts with me. They're regulars. We need to come up with like our own little crew name, man, or something. This is, you know, come on now, fellas. We got we got a good thing going over here. I got a couple more invites out. Anybody actually in the chat right now, if you got me on IG and you want to make a little pop in on the show today, go ahead. Shoot me your Insta. Shoot me your info on Instagram. I'll go ahead and pull it up right here and uh, we'll get you on the show today because we're going to go till maybe uh, four o'clock Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to go 10 rounds. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to go 10 rounds. We're going to break at the halfway point to see what's on today because that's what i do and i don't know if anyone got a chance to see this morning i came back strong well not really but tomorrow will be better uh i came back with a what's on today with discovery bay episode this morning the half hour live version where i kind of go over the lineup of what's in my playlist what's in the uh live community the comic book community live playlist for today which is maintained on the on the uh, homepage. And I also gave a little, a uh, couple of my top picks uh, from the day before. As a matter of fact, you know, I put I put so much time into it. Let me go ahead and just show off a couple of the highlights. If you haven't been over to John's Comics with Kids and seen his new little little. That's right, The Flash. He's got a great series where it's called The Starting Line, and he gives you the jumping on, well, he gives you the keys, he gives you some history. There's some history there. He's gonna give you a good starting jumping on point for a series. And uh, I should put a link, man, I'm not prepared. Uh, we gotta put a link in uh, the chat for John's new video up there. Um, where's Z Collects? Is he in the house? Man, if Z was here, man, he'd be popping that shit out quick. Uh, also, um, no problem, John. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to hit the chat here in a second because there's another one that came out that I highlighted on this morning show. And first of all, this intro is fire, man. So I just got Perry spent some time on this. I know he did. So let's go, let's go check out Perry's new intro. Well, check good. this out. Yeah. Don't you like the end when he's giving the little jam like that? Yeah, Come on. The that is yeah, fire, bro. Like that. bro. Right? Yeah, it was uh -huh. really good. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff, Perry, man. We love you over here. So, hey, you know what? Let's real quick and hit the uh, hit the chat real quick and see who is in here. Man, I got to scroll back quite a way. We had Matt from Mr. Comics 89 who says he was first because he saw, he saw the preview yesterday. If you saw the preview yesterday, you kind of know what's coming today. And there's some good stuff in there. All right. Also, we've got Old Wolf 65. Thanks for stopping in. Old Wolf's got a credit because, yeah, I love your accounting style, Old Wolf. I'll just you know, send you some money and we'll just settle it up later. I love that. That old comic smell is in the house. Thanks for stopping in. He's got, he's trying to call dibs on the G.I. Joes. They're coming up. They'll be coming up today. Uh, also, what else? who else we got in here? James Watson, how you doing? Hey, James, looks like everyone's been taken care of. I'm very happy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Big Will is... Is he taking care of you yet? Uh, no, but with uh, a bit late for me, though, but that's okay. 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 Well, don't worry about Big I mean, Will. Things happen. Big Will, you know, I, I want to give you props, actually, for hitting up all those other sellers from Saturday. Everyone else has been taken care of, and I'm really happy that uh, we're able to accommodate you. For all those people that are afraid of shipping to Europe, we're going to try it. James is going to be my guinea pig. I got a one box that I've already got weighed up and knows what to go. I got some other stuff coming in. We're going to send some stuff to Europe and see if we can start a market for our for our fellows across the pond over there, right? Yeah, All right, cool. who else have we got in the chat? We've got Huggably Soft. There you go. Thanks for stopping. And Wolf Blitz, how you doing, man? Is it uh all one and three today? Yeah, it's probably – I got a bunch of one and threes today, Wolf. I think we're going to go one and threes today. I'm going to save that big stuff for you, you man. You were killing it. Killing it on that community pop-up shop. All right. How many books are you holding for me? That's a damn good question, John. I think I got it right here, actually. Isn't this you right here? John's Comics with Kids. Here we go. Hey, you want to see what you got? 
All right, so you've got a $3 claim right there. Yep. You've got, ooh, some Fantastic ooh. Four. When did you pick those up? Nice. You got some Silver Age Fantastic Four in your box. Yep. And then what else we got here? We got, oh, no, that's not you. That's somebody else. All right, I think those were from your auction. Yeah, that's it. You've got a total of four, four books, John. Four books in the box. Uh, just hit me up on Instagram, and I can take care of that for you, whatever you want to do with that. I think you actually already paid for everything, so it's just about it shipping, unless you want to buy some more books, because we're right. going to put some books up. We got 10 rounds today. 10 rounds. I'm thinking I'll do five rounds of, now. Nah, we'll probably go six, six or seven rounds a dollar, three or four rounds of $3, and then uh, we're going to break in the halfway point, see what's on tonight, because the schedule has changed, my friends. The schedule has changed, and we definitely want to highlight that. So where was I in the chat? Um, CFAP's here. How you doing, Comic Foo? The Fuminati, the Foofer, the Foo Gang, the Foo Crew. Man, there's a lot of good hashtags for Foo. I love it. Hack79 is here. Thanks for stopping in. Hunter Thompson is lurking. How you doing, my friend? Sharp Seller says, hey. Stop, thanks for stopping in. Agu Ramos Maverick is out and about today. Checking us out here at the comic book pop-up shop. Uh, Steve at Burke Family. For, uh, can I do hashtag forever nasty? Yeah. So Steve at Burke Family 54 Comics, hashtag forever nasty, is popping in. Thank you very much. And like I said, James Watson says, Happy New Year's to everyone. Thank you for stopping in. So let's get started. First, real quick. I want to make sure we announce that tonight, this guy right here is doing something special. So tell us what you got tonight while I get this board set up. At 8.30 Central Time, 9.30 Eastern, I will be having an auction on my channel. And it's with my, I don't, I don't think anyone else is doing it, with my format on doing an auction, which is fast as lightning. Ooh. Because... It is, I tell you about the book, I show you the book, then I put a start line in the chat. And then there's a two-minute bid clock. And at the end of that clock, I put a stop line in the chat. And whoever has the highest bid above the stop line wins the item. No need for folding. You don't have to worry about that. No waiting on anyone or anything. It's two minutes, and it's done. That's it. And I love I this format. Alone. So we'll probably get through maybe 15 lots in one hour, maybe even more. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm a, this is just setting up for the camera. I'm going to take these down. I'm just trying to set up for the camera. So these, this isn't actually the first lot, but this will be some of the stuff that's available today. Um, yeah. And, and Big Will's got some crazy dope books, dude. I saw him. He's got the so great. The Bronze Age, some Copper Dude Keys. Big, big keys. keys. Yeah. All right, so let's just set this camera up over here, fellas. See if we can get this thing looking straight. Do we, we do it this way or do I go full screen, actually? You go full Oh, you screen. know what? I should set it up. I need to redo the overlay. This isn't too small. This would work. I don't know. Right? To keep you guys in the yeah. show? He's like, no, man. There's so much stuff I get done when I'm not yeah, on yeah. screen. Get me off the yeah, screen, me. JB. Get me off the screen. <laughs> I Gives me, I, I can even take my camera off. There we way. go. Man, that's pretty damn close. All right, that's hold on. pretty good. That's pretty damn close. The bottom corner is a little too low. Yeah. You, you can only see half the cover almost. There you go. <laughs> Bring it down. Perfect. A little more. A little more. Okay. A little more. Nope. Back to where you were. Keep going down. He's going down. I, I, I think that's the perfect, go. perfect because he's going to get it. Yep. What do you think? Yeah. That, that's good. What do you guys think of that? Do. I like it. Nailed it. Does that work? Nailed it. Nailed it. Right? And then, man, the bottom, though, that Wonder Woman. Well, whatever. Okay. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to swoop these up because that's actually not the first round. And you could have been. But I always like to kind of describe what we got out there. So go ahead and throw those in there. Oh, we'll keep that in here. This is that here. Shuffle these up. Grab a couple of these. Because there's a big run of those. There's a couple of run of those. And right here. 
All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, everybody. Thanks for joining me once again. This is going to be the first round. We're going 10 rounds today. This is what I like to call the buy it now opportunity, a la the keep it thorough starting line. That is right. I'm going to go ahead and lay out 12 books. I'm going to tell you what they are. They're all available for a dollar. The first person to claim via letter in the live chat gets that book. I go ahead and start a pile for you or add to a pile that you already have got going. And I've got quite a few piles going. So most likely uh, you got something going. Now, everybody that participates today will be entered on the wheel for some free shipping. Wait, wait a minute. What? Yes, that's right. If you've got a pile here, man, you could still win free shipping for the whole pile. It's insane. My, as a matter of fact, I just sent CFAP 52 comic books, free shipping on me. He, he won the wheel. Anyway, wow. let's get started today. I've got 30 people ready to go in the live chat. Now you don't have to be here to participate. These will all be available via the rewind just by referencing the round in the letter. So we are gonna start with some Batman issue number 59. It's going right up there for $1. DC Rebirth Green Arrow number two. DC Rebirth Green Arrow number two. $1 on the board. DC Rebirth Wonder Woman number 10. Wonder Woman number 10 on the board, $1. Next up, we've got Injustice, no, Justice League United, number 10. Justice League United, number 10. Here's that one. I'm going to move this one. I don't put this one up here because these two are this. I don't, I don't know what number they are. They're all, they're 1 million. This one. Oh, no. Did the other one go? Shit. Superman, 1 million. And there's another one of these somewhere. Superman, 1 million. How about $1? Justice League Task Force, number 28. Bam, there you go. Next up, we've got Justice League of America, number 102. Justice League of America, number 102. All right, next up, we've got Justice League of America, 101. So 101 and 102 are on the board. Let's put them right next to each other, just like that. Um, oh, here we go. How about some Judge Dread number 30? Man, that's a wicked cover. One dollar. Yeah, it is. Here's another one. Man, I may have to put up the... Did I put up the parental advisory? No, you didn't. Holy moly, what am I thinking? This cover might have might get me in trouble. Of all right, next up, we've got Judge Dredd number 14. Mm -mm -mm. Let's move the mic. And, oh, here we go. How about Spider-Man the Mutant Agenda number one? Spider-Man the Mutant Agenda number one. All right, all right, all right. And the final book in round one will go with Injustice number 18. Hey, is Steven Spock here? There's a little reflective action on that one. A little reflection on that, maybe? All right, there you go. That's the final book in the A position. I'm just waiting for the OK to drop, and we will go ahead and drop that starting line in the chat for the 32 people who are joining us and see if there's anybody interested in claiming any of these books here today. This new year on the comic book pop up shop show. Yeah. And uh, Comics for All People says he needs those 52 books because that's what he's going to read while he's in the hospital. <laughs> and he thinks he needs some more. He has claimed letter E. You got it. CFAP letter E is on its way to you. $1 claim, round one. CFAP. And uh, letter E. E. Yes. And then we have our new friend here in the community, Sharp Seller, letter G. Sharp Seller, welcome to the community. Is anyone familiar with Sharp Seller? I mean, I've seen him in the chat. He was on your community pop-up for the first mm -hmm. time. That's when we saw him for the first time. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for stopping in, Sharp Seller, with a $1 claim in round one. Letter G. Letter G. 
And then he the says, final claim I see is one even Spock with letter A. Right. Now he said, hey, what did you say? Reflective, JB. I'm going to have to jump on that. Steven Spock, $1 claim in round one. All right. Now, uh, any, any, uh, anything left on the board is still available. If you're watching this on the rewind, just go ahead and reference round one and the letter either in the comments below or hit me up on instagram at discovery bay comics and tell me round one in the letter and we'll put that in your pile we're gonna go ahead and close out this round oh wait a minute we have wait. sharp seller now sharp seller I, we're gonna let you do this because no one else seems to have made a claim but uh, for future reference everyone one letter at a time correct but sharp seller wants i and j Sharp right. seller, one dollar claims in round one. Says, go ahead and give me I and give me J. There's some great covers for a dollar, man. I, I'm surprised no one's taking that Batman or that uh, that giant homage up there. Letter B. All right, all right. Now we'll go ahead and close out that round. Hey, thirty six chambers is in the house. Says, yo, yo, comic fam, how you doing? So thirty six. Closed round one. Bam, we're off to a great start, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this camera back here. Get everybody in there. Thanks for thanks for helping me out today, fellas. I appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for having me, dude. Always love these things, man. The community just kind of comes together, dude, and we all just kind of hang out, brother. Yeah, and so show some dope books, you know what I mean? Discovery's got some to do. <laughs> What's up, Will? I was just saying it gives me something to do. Yeah, dude. I like I like getting all the exposure for ha from hanging out with Big Discovery dude on Discovery Network, dude. He's got Discovery like Discovery Network. <laughs> but, uh, that's that's what you're going for, isn't it? Yeah, kinda. Why not, right? I want to be on three times a day. You're gonna get sick of sick and tired of me, and maybe we'll maybe we'll meet some new friends too, you know. All right, we're gonna get started in round two. We're gonna start with Justice League of America again. Man, we got some JLA. Let's see if anybody's interested. Justice League of America number 111. Going for a dollar here in round two. Sean Richards popping in says, Happy New Year. Thanks for stopping in, Sean. Appreciate you. Steven uh, Spock, happy new year hug. Thank you very much. All my comic book cousins out here. Conquista Dork Javi. You are the man, bro. One dollar right up there in letter D. Next up, we've got another Justice League number 108. Drop that one right down there. Let's let's get out. Oh, there's the other one right there. Oh wow, this cover is wicked. Superman Man of Steel, one million. One million. All right. How about Superman in Action Comics number 659? Superman Action Comics 659. Is There's got to be a fan? couple. There you go. How about Adventures of Superman 461? Adventures of Superman 461. Drop down right there. Next up, we've got Aquaman number two. Aquaman number two. Okay, how about some Injustice? Injustice number five and number six. All right, all right. Next up, how about Jim Lee, Image Comics, Death Blow, number two. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. All right, another one from Image Comics. It's a number one. It's Crosswind. And we're sticking with uh, 1602 Part 4. That's a Marvel, actually. Here we go. And the final book in round two. We'll just go back to some Judge Dread. This is a cool one with a car in there. Out of my way. I got Judges to kill. Judge Dread, number six, the early cases. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and... Get that starting line going here. I probably should have copied it because I did not do that. Where's it at? 
Alright, here we go. Let me copy this. Starting line. Now, are we good, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah, we're, we, we were good. We're way good. Let's get the starting line going for round two for the 34 people who are joining us live. That's right, live right now, five days a week. JB is going live in this time slot. Well, he's trying anyway. 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're pop-up shopping. That's right. Tuesday and Thursday, we're deciding what to put in the shop and for how much. So, kind of get a preview of what's coming out the next day. And our first claim is Mr. Comics 89 with, you could probably guess it based on his stream today, Letter K. Hey, you got it, Mr. Comics 89. Thanks for stopping in today. Your name's going on the wheel. Let's win some free shipping for all the people that participate today. This is a round two claim of $1. Letter K goes to Matt at Mr. Comics and 89. And then we have... Sharp seller with letters F and J. You got it, sharp seller. One dollar claims in round two. One dollar claims round two. Sharp seller. Letter F and letter J. F and J. Got no it. further claim. No problem at all. Just more options for the people watching on the Rewind today. These books are still available. You can claim them very simply by referencing round two and the letter, either in the comments below or hit me up on and Instagram. James Watson just claimed letter D. James Watson says, I'm still here. I'm paying everybody. I want some books. And H. All right, James. I'm putting them aside. Here we go. James and Watson. One dollar claims in round two. D H and I. D H and I. You got it, James. He's like, I know there's gonna be room in that box. All right, all right. So we're going to go ahead and close out round two. And see. <clears throat> move this over, Ansi. Yep. Got it right before the buzzer. Right before the buzzer. We'll go ahead and pop that in there. And sweep the board here. Keep them in order, just in case. I, I knew somebody would go dirty. It's first chance. <laughs> hey, Pat. There it was. It was C, wasn't it? Oh uh, no, he did get the D there. Somebody had to go. It's the good running joke, you know. All right, so that was the end of round two. We are cranking right along. We're making great time. I'm just going to go right up into round three. Thank you for joining me, the 37 people who are joining us live right now on the Discovery Bay Comics YouTube channel. I've got guest host Big Will and the immortal Biggie Shack here today, and we are starting round three with Spider-Man and the X-Factor number two, Shadow Games. Next up, we've got another Injustice, Gods Among Us, year five, number 15. Oh, this is Screaming CFAP. How about Tales of the Teen Titans, number 46? One of those 75 cent good ones. One dollar right now. Here's a little more Judge Dread, number 35. Buddy, can you spare an I? Damn. That looks like Ernest B. World, too. <laughs> How about Superman Wonder Woman number 25? Wow. Great cover. Man, for Very a nice. Very nice. Oh, here we go. How about some Uncanny X-Men number two? Uncanny X-Men number two. One dollar. One two comic talk says he just finished watching. So let me put that up. 
I was watching it. I, I even delayed the start of the show by 10 minutes. I was, I didn't want to, I didn't, yeah, I delayed the show by 10 minutes for them. That was great. It was awesome stuff, those two. The, un, they're like the, the, um, Abbott and Costello kind of, you know, duo. I love it. Uncanny X Men number four, right next to number two. Yeah, for sure. Discovery pushed it back. We was all talking about. How about Deadpool number twenty? One dollar on the board. On the board. We're in round three, right? We're in round three. Yeah, we're in round three. Next up, we've got Justice League United number eleven. Justice League United number eleven. All right. How about DC presents the Green Lantern number seventy-two? There you go. Hey, you know what? Since we got Justice League eleven on the board, let's go ahead and put twelve on the board too. JLU Justice League United number twelve on the board, and the. Final book in the round. How about Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider, number 23? Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider, number 23. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> hey, short box Padawans in the house says, Hello, my cousins, my comic book cousins. That's right. I left. Oh, hello. Uh, that old comic smells in the house. Says hello, one two, because one two comic talk is here. But we're getting started. Can I drop the line? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're starting round three for the forty-one people who are in the live chat. If you want to claim any of these books, if you've got a pile going already, let's go ahead and throw another one in the pile. They're only a dollar. Man, everyone was after the Titans, but Old Wolf sixty-five, letter H. Ooh, old Wolf. Great pickup, my friend. One dollar claim in round three. And then we have Sharp Seller with letter C and F. You got it. Sharp Seller, give me a C, give me F. One dollar claims in round three. Very nice. C. And F, dead pool. All right, all right. So, so we're going to go ahead and close out round three. Closed round three. Boom, we've got Chino Comics and more stopping in saying, what's up, brother? Man, these guys took the day off today. I hope you guys are enjoying your day off. You deserve it. There's some hardworking fellas over there, man. The boys at Chino Comics and more. So we've closed round three. I'm going to go ahead and sweep this board out. Wait, before I sweep it out, I did want to mention anybody watching the replay, go ahead and reference round three in the letter, either in the description, either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. And I can add this to your pile or start a new one. All right, let's sweep the board. See what the fellas are doing. All right, Biggie, are you out and about? Where are you out? Are you at home? You chilling? What you doing? I'm at my buddy Shockwave's house right now. Nice. Yeah, he, he's like Dracula. He, he lives in the dark. Well, that's all right. That's all right, man. Big Will, you're getting ready for your uh, your event tonight, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. We're going to get ready with round four. And the first book in round four is the Uncanny X-Men number five. Uncanny X-Men number five. Drop that right up there. Next up, we've got Superman Wonder Woman number 26. And number 20. Next up from Scout Comics, issue number one of Wolfborn. Born. 
All right, how about another Scout Comics number one? Monarchs number one. On the board for one dollar. Monarchs. 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 Thank you very much. Be jacking it all up. This is a wicked cover. Wonder Woman number 17. Uh, it's great art, just a bad cheetah version. Yes. Um, DC Rebirth, Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern Corps, number 25. All right. Next up, we've got Judge Dredd, number 34. Oh. And number 33. Well, there you go. Might as well finish it off. Number 32. Going across the top. Judge Dredd's taking the top row. 32, 33, 34. Get yourself a little run. Only a dollar a piece. Justice League of America, number 113. We're in the fourth. Is this the fourth? <clears throat> We're in the fourth round. We're going to break after the fifth. See what's going on tonight in the comic book community. JLA number 78 is the final book on the board. Tell me when we're ready for a starting line. Go. Starting line's up for round four. If you are catching this on the rewind, you can yeah. still claim a book simply by referencing round four in the letter, either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. First no off, we have. First off, we have Bert Nasty accusing you of hiding the Power Rangers, and then <laughs> we have Sean Richards with letter J. <laughs> Sean Richards, my man, thanks for stopping in. Letter J is yours, my friend. Letter J, one dollar claim in round four for Sean Richards. And then the only other claim so far would be James Watson, letter I, the book next to it. That's K. That's yep. K. Thank you. That's J. So that's Sean Richards and the Justice League, and I is James Watson. James Watson, Justice League, I. One dollar claim, round four. James Watson. Uh, you got it. Yes, you got a couple of books, Sean. Not too many. There's a short stack. All right, we're going to go ahead and close out round four. We are moving right along, making great time, everybody. Thanks for joining me today live. This is the new time slot, 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, five days a week. JB's going live with something. We're going to go pop-up shop Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we're going to do the decision show. Is this comic book worth a dollar? Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right. All right. Hey, it looks like uh, Carolyn just got paid by James, too. So she wants my mailing address so she can send his books over here. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And we got somebody right. new who I've never seen popped in. John Amazquita. I'm probably butchering that name, but dude, thanks for stopping by, man. He he's a he's a friend of mine, close friend of mine, actually. Oh, we cool. used to we used to work together. All right, let's go ahead and swipe that board. We're gonna get to round five. After this next round, we're gonna break and see what's on tonight in the comic book community. Lady Fantastic, she's happy. Woo -woo. Oh yeah. All right. Here we go. We're looking for, uh, we are in round five. Let's break out some bangers. How about the New Teen Titans number 17? New Teen Titans number 17. Let me drop that one right up there. And if you got 17 on the board, let's go ahead and put 15 on the board too. New Teen Titans 15 on the board. And next up, how about number 14? 14 on the board. 
We will save this for the next round. I want to get two. Oh, yeah, these are all the same. Oh, there's some Superman. How about that? Superman or Action Comics number 646. Action Comics 646. Uh, Superman number 303. Seen Better Days. Oh, my God. How about Red Hood Outlaws number two? Red Hood Outlaws number two. Boom. DC Comics presents Midnighter number 10. Hey, and if you got 10 on the board, let's put nine right next to it. Midnighter nine and 10. One dollar books here in round five. Okay, never heard of this one before. DC Comics presents The Secret Six, number five. Where's some Marvel love in this house? Holy moly. Here we go. Here we go. Asking ye shall receive. How about The Avengers, number 64? Avengers 64 on the board. Two more books. How about Avengers Time Slide with some shiny, shiny, but I can't tell what issue it is. Mm -mm -mm. That's on the board. And the final book in the round. How about Spider Man, the Clone Journal, Spider Special? Spider Man, the Clone Journal, Spider Special on the board. There we go, there we go. This is round five. We're going to break after this round, see what's on tonight in the comic book community. Tell me when we're ready. Go. There we go. Round five is now open for the 36 people still joining us live right now on Discovery Bay Comics YouTube channel. Wow. Got, got a lot of claims here. We have Old Wolf 65 wanting the D. Oh, Old Wolf says, give me that. I'm not saying the letter. <laughs> Round five, one dollar claim. Old Wolf, my friend, you got it. Letter D. And then next up is Two Gun Pedro, letter E. Hey, Two Gun, thanks for stopping in, sir. I think I just shipped you, didn't I? I think I just shipped you. Two Gun Pedro starting a new pile. That's what I like to hear. Get on the wheel for free shipping in round five. Two Gun Pedro says letter E. The shiny, shiny. And next up, we have Huggably Soft with letters H and I. Huggably, letters H and I. Thanks for stopping in, sir. Says I want to get on the wheel. And no, Huggleby, you didn't. Old Wolf just beat you out on the D, but you did get the H and the I. You got the H and you got the I. There you go. Oh, yeah, there's some there, the Conquistador laying some knowledge, too. You got to change it from top chat to live chat, I guess. huh? And then we have Old Wolf with letter L. Old Wolf. Let's give me letter L. One dollar claim in round five. Letter L it is, my friend. Letter L it is. And let's see here. We have Old Wolf also getting J. Take this one back and add J to it. You got it, sir. You got it. And that is the final claim I see. In round five. Wow, that was a great round. Let's go ahead and close out that round for the live. If you're watching this on the replay and you see any book left on the board, go ahead and reference round five in the letter. And I can go ahead and add that to your stack or start a new stack. So we're going to go ahead and sweep the board here. And then we're going to go ahead and take a break here. We're at the halfway point of the show. This is the fifth round. I'm going to change the camera back over to this camera. We're going to take this branding off of here. Because uh, we're going to put this one on. And we're going to hide that one. We don't need that one yet. I got you guys. Because we're going to go to this one. All right. Now, let me see if this is all set up. 
So, fellas, you got to give me some filler here while I set this up. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, dude. You, you got any Yo, books? Uh, What's going on? Uh, Yo, Big Will, are you, you saw one of them big, one of them big team Titan keys, dude, or did I imagine that? Yes, I'm selling two Titans books, possibly three. And this is a giveaway. It's a signed print by Stuart Sager. Someone who buys something will get this Joker with his laughing fish. Just oh, yeah. on the free. Free. <laughs> on the wow. free. Man, you got to like free. All right. I do like Just free. getting the schedule set up here. And I have playlist. a Titans Faded. key and a Titans minor key double signed coming up. Damn. Look at you, oh, man. Another one. I'm not sure yet. I think this is going to work. And now, I, I, actually, I'm going to leave it in here and we're going to roll it because. You actually did your homework, so you're going to be rewarded here in a second. Because <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You have your stuff for tomorrow even out. So I'm going to roll through the schedule all the way into tomorrow morning where we're going to get your two, your two, both those things in there also. You might want to take it off of me being full screen, though. You want to keep the people, not leave them. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're funny. And I'm gone. There you guys. All right, let me get this set up. Here we go. And... Share screen. Yeah. Uh, share Frank screen. Go cool, Disco. We'll just hang in the back, dude. Hold on. Let's see if this works. Bam. Right. There we go. Um, you know what, though? Since I went through all the work, I did go through all the work today, man. I might as well, might as well do it. Right. All right. So, hey, everybody. How you doing? <clears throat> this is the halfway point of the pop-up show. And if you joined me this morning, you got to see, you know, that we did the uh, What's On Today with Discovery Bay show. So, I... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you that whole show, and it takes about seven minutes, so you've got to bear with me for seven minutes, folks, as I'm going to tell you what's on tonight uh, in the comic book community. So, you ready? Let's do it. How you doing, everybody? And welcome to another edition of What's On Today with Discovery Bay, home of the YouTube comic book community channel guide. This is the show where I'm going to give you some of my top picks from yesterday, and then I'm going to run down a lineup of content creators that are either releasing, premiering, or going live. So first up, let's take a look at um, a couple of the top picks from yesterday. These channels have been discovered. So first up on my top picks, I've still got it here. I cannot let it go. Unfortunately, I can't really show you too much from it because I've done some stuff for tonight's show and I, and I don't want to blow that. But next up in my top picks is John from John's Comics with Kids. Because as I mentioned earlier, he has a new series called The Starting Line. And The Flash is a great series, which I wasn't going to read, but now I've got a good starting point. So yeah, I'm going to check that out. Now, also in my top picks, I've got Perry. But Perry... That's going to be right up there with Rod the Reekens. I can play that shit over and over and over again. Perry had a great video drop called His Top 5 uh, Keys. And uh, go ahead and over, head over and check that one out. Now, let's get to the actual lineup of what's on. So, as you can tell, I was on earlier with the what's on today. We're currently live. Still got 31 people sticking around while I bust out this lineup. But at 3.30, which is just a couple minutes from now, at 3.30 p.m. Pacific, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, over at the Strictly Comics, he's already on! I'm lurking him! I didn't want to do that. He started early, or I'm late. Uh, Strictly Comics is on right now. He's live. He's got a new comics and back issue haul going on. And then here's the one we were waiting for. At 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, over at Big Will's channel. Big Will, my guest host. Great guy. Go check him out. I've got the link right here in my playlist. He's going to be doing an auction, and his auction is different, like he mentioned. He's got a starting line. He's got an ending line. He's got a two-minute timer. you got to be strategic. He's going to be done quickly, probably within the hour, and he's got some fire tonight. So you definitely want to check that out. Now, I don't have anything else up, but I know Rob Worst is going to be on tonight because he's got Not Near Mint. And then I'm coming back on later with Disco After Dark with a brand-new intro but you're going to have to check out if you're a fan of Biggie Shack, and I, I am. Now, because he did his homework, I might as well highlight it. Tomorrow morning at 8.30 p at 8.30 a.m. my time, which will be before my show even goes off, Big Will is going to give us his after-auction mission report. So he's going to tally up how he did on the auction and then tell us how he's doing in this, uh, in this 
thing he's doing here. He's he's uh, flipping books, and we're going to see how he's doing. He's actually going to give us numbers. He's going to give us numbers. He's going to tell us what he started with and where he's at now, and he's going to take that money and reinvest it, and that's going to be good. Now, at 9 a.m. tomorrow, Big Will is also going to announce the winner of his contest. And you're not going to want to miss that because it's going to be live. I don't know how long that's going to go because I'm going to do what's on today with Discovery Bay somewhere around 9, 15, 9, 30, depending on how long Big Will goes. Well, that was the break. Let's get back to the books. You're here to see what we're selling. We are going to sell some books. I'm jumping into round six. And uh, hey, JB, change the camera. Yes, sir. Before you do that, there's some people in the chat letting us know some things. Burt Family 54 Comics is going live tonight, as well as Lady Fantastic is going live with Rob Worst at yep. 10 Eastern. At 10 Eastern, that is correct, Lady Fantastic. I actually got, uh, and this is going to work if you guys, everybody out there, if you want to be in the show and you want to be in the rundown, Go ahead and get that stream set up in advance so I can get it in the playlist. You can always edit it later, but at least I get it in the playlist and I can mention it to anyone watching. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get to the next round of books here. Grab a stack of books here. Alrighty. And get back to it. We've got five more rounds. <laughs> Biggie man, you're a trip. I love it. All right, let's get the overlay back up. Well, this is round six. What do you think? We'll do um, we'll do one more round of uh, a dollar books, and then we'll move to some threes. What do you think? One more round of yeah, dollars. Yeah, let's do it. One more round of dollars. We're starting it with the Uncanny X Men number seven Stan Lee tribute banner edition. One dollar. Great book, dude. Holy smokes. Next up, the new Teen Titans number 12. Love that cover. Clash of the Titans. And if you're going to put number 12 on the board, you might as well put number 11 on the board. A new Teen Titans number 11. One of you. How about Green Lantern number 80, The Final Night? Any Green Lantern fans out there? I got another one, number 107. Green Lantern 107. Some more Justice League of America number 105. Justice League of America 105. Hey, JB, oh, uh, don't yes, mean to interrupt, but Mr. Comics 89 is asking for an invite if you don't mind another helping hand. Hell yeah. We got plenty of room. Let me go ahead and get that going. Yeah, he had asked me the That'd other day. Definitely. And I let me see if I can get his Mr. No. Um, Matt, that was it. No. All right, Matt, let me... Um, Take care of it, dude. We're good. Yeah, Yo, Matt, uh, you first, go ahead and bro. send me your uh, email again on Instagram. I'm sorry, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and send me your email again on Instagram. Hey, Jaguar's reaching out to me. He says, let me know where he stands with the auction winning so he could wrap it up. Absolutely, sir. After, as soon as this show's over, Jaguar, chickata. I will hit you up on Instagram. I love saying that name. That's another one. That's like, hi, Alea comic, bro, and make the snake. I just love to say those names, man, right? Come on. Uh oh, I can't hear you, Disco. What? Wait a minute. Where'd I go? Am I, I hear you a little bit? Okay. No, it's very faint. I hear I'm, you. Huh? I'm still here. Here we go. So, um, you know what? Let's go ahead okay. and finish this round while I get a uh, an email from uh, Matt at Mister Comics eighty nine. Um, because I can't remember what your email is. There it is. Okay. Okay. There it is. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, everybody go to Burke and Burke and Family's channel, dude. He he's a great member of the community, man. We all need to support Big Burt Nasty, brother. Absolutely. Burke Family. It's that extra R that gets you every time. He knows what I'm he knows exactly what I'm talking about. That's right. Okay. 
So where were we? Let me keep this thing going. Next up, we have got Justice League United number eight. No, number nine and number eight. That's kind of creepy. What's going on in this series? I probably should have read this series. Uh, Justice League United number eight. Bro, this this is a hot round, yo. If y'all ain't seen, this is hot, dude. Okay, how about... Yeah, I don't want to do it off now that you got me going here. How about Legion of the Superheroes number 291? Legion of Superheroes 291. Uh, we'll save that for the next round. How about... Ooh, here's one. What did I have? 291? Oh, cool. 290. Legion of Superheroes 290. That's a cool cover. Look at that one. So I got 290 and 291 on the board. Oh, there it is. Aquaman number one. Let's get an Aquaman number one. This is a really cool cover, too. Aquaman number one on the board. And the final book. Oh, my goodness. She is smoking. Scout Comics presents Cyber Sector number one. Scout Comics Cyber Sector number one. I got Chris Sarda in the house. How you doing, my friend? Chaos in Comics. Stopping in. Says He says, uh, chaos will reign in 2020. <laughs> All right. Tell me when we're ready for round six to get started. Are you ready? Round six is alive and going for the 42 people joining us live today here on the Discovery Bay Comics pop-up shop. I'm going to start to kick up a pace here since I do want to try and be off here at the top of the hour, but we'll see how it goes. And we, we have go. Old Wolf 65 with letter H and L. You got it, Old Wolf. One dollar claims in round six for Old Wolf. You said letter H and letter L. The Titans. Bam and bam. Great claims, my friend. Great claims. And next up, we have CFAP with letter C. CFAP says, leave one for me, guys. Come on. Hey, you know what? He's you also got, got letter B. B and C, $1 claims in round and six. F. CFAP, he likes this board. So yeah. that was C. Dude, I can't B believe D stole F. F. And B. B. You got it. All right, then we have Two Gun Pedro coming in hot with letter A. Two Gun Pedro in the house. Yeah, I got to throw a little sound effects for Two Gun. Huh? <laughs> two Gun, $1 claim in round six. Says, go ahead and give me that letter A, yeah. right? Then we got Sharp Seller, letter D. Our favorite letter. Our favorite letter goes to Sharp Seller. One dollar claim in round six. Sharp Seller, right. thank you for right. joining me today. Right. <laughs> hey, Sharp Seller, can you reach out to me on at Instagram at, at Discovery Bay Comics so we can start a dialogue? And, uh, that is the final yep. claim I see. I'm sorry, what did Sharp Seller get? D. The D. The <laughs> D, that's, that's right. He got the D. All right. Oh, hey, we've going? got another, another person, another person popping in here. Yay. Let's talk about, let's talk to our friend Matt here. Yeah. Who, uh, hey, Matt, man, you you went, you uh, you had a, a premiere today, right? It's, yeah, in, it's, in, the, it's in the playlist. Yeah, just and, my... Uh, and and you showed us your 2020 um, mm -hmm. list, yeah. And I just I just I like what you say, man. You dr go go bigger, go home, because that was that was one hell of a list, my friend. Yeah, well, like a lot of it, like I said, is it's like six. The first six of ASM were prominently displayed, and like I could afford all those all at once. But better to list them than to you know to have a dream. Yo, so, yo, eighty nine. You get some big boy books dude i see you brother you don't play around you might get some of them dude yeah yeah i wanted to join in because i'm testing out a new microphone so that i got so all right yeah no you sound great uh i think we're gonna go ahead and move to the three dollar rounds so seven eight nine and ten let's take our 
Let's take a shot at some $3 books here, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and drop the $3 branding up. Awesome. We're going to go change the camera angle here. We've got a little extra help in the chat. I appreciate Matt for stopping in. No problem. And we are going to get started right now with round seven for the 40 peeps who are still joining me live. This is amazing. Thank you for stopping in. Hey, I love sign comics is on is in. Thank you for stopping in, sir. First up in the $3 round, we have got Flash number 22 with the lenticular cover, which is actually kind of cool. It's, it's kind of a cool lenticular cover, so we'll throw that one up there in the D position. This one is Superman 3D, and the glasses are in there. Superman 3D number one. The glasses are in there. There you go. Don't mind that $10 price tag on it. It's only $3 on the board. Next up, how about some Tyler Kirkham goodness in Detective Comics number 49? Batman, Detective mm -hmm. Comics 49. Cool. Tomasi story there, all right? Let's get a... Let's get Drew Manchu baby over here. He loves him some Tomasi. How about Superman and Vigilante number 92? Mm. It's with the 50-year logo DC. That's an interesting one. What else we got in here? Where's my variants at? Where's all those variants? Can y'all can y'all hear me? I can yeah. hear you. Biggie? Okay. Yep. All right. Oh, here we go. How about some of these? How about Shadow of the Bat? Wait a minute. I'm not big anymore. <laughs> Dude, the what juice is loose, brother. These these three dollars are, are phenomenal. Shadow of the bat, number eleven. I know there's a couple more of those in there. Let's grab some of those out of there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I know what these were. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, we might as well bring it up now. I'm going to put him back out. All right, folks. For the 35 people who are joining me and my three get or four guest hosts, these are books that were previously claimed by a gentleman who used to go by the name of Dollar Bin Fodder. I remember him. And he has done changed his name to The Blip. And he had claimed some books and decided he didn't want those anymore. So we're going to put those back up. I got Night Stalkers, number one, still in the collector's case in there. $3. Guard as Guardians of the Galaxy variant cover, number one. $3. The Punisher, the Evolutionary War, number one. Dude, look at these books. Three dollars. Nice, nice. Right? Those are nice ones. I was like, I thought I got into the wrong stack when I saw the stickers on them, but I remember. I mean, that's the only person that's ever claimed anything to not get it. Um, okay, how about this? Let's go with Superman, number 12. Superman newsstand. 12, newsstand. We'll go up there on the board. The Witching Hour number one. The Witching Hour one on the board. Max one. Get yourself a Max one. On the board. And the final book, Everybody Dark Horse one, issue number one. No one left to fight. All right, here's the board. Three dollar books here. Get this out of the way. You tell here me when the starting. Yes, the Superman does have the glasses in it. I checked, and I remember Vigilante's necklace. That's right. Oh yeah, I remember you checking for that. Yeah. Are we ready? Oh yeah, we're, we're ready. Oh, we're ready. All right. Starting line is in. Let's see if there's anybody interested in any of these. He said, what happened to Blip? Yeah, he was chilling last night. Definitely. No, he claimed some books that he decided he didn't want. Yep. He's the only person so far. Everyone else has claimed is yeah. pretty cool. 
And the first claim we have, uh, I, well, I'll just let you tell him himself. Well, I've claimed C. There so. it is. Matt, Mr. Comics 89 says, give me C. You got it, sir. $3 claim in round seven for Mr. Comics 89. And uh, Comics for All People got G. And looks like F as well. All right. See that. Glad you're feeling better, my friend. Yeah, CFAP definitely jumped right back in the swing of things, brother. Yeah. Feeling better. CFAP $3 claims. And what did you say you had? G and F. G and F. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much for that. I like, you know, to get gobbled right back up. I appreciate that, CFAP. And then we have Huggably Soft wants the D. Huggably says, man, why do you got to keep putting the books I want over in the D spot? <laughs> yeah. $3 claim and round seven. Soft. Huggably. That one's kind of cool, though, that lenticular one. Yeah, it is, dude. It Very is. Nice. Those are cool. I would have put it in five. But that was probably my. Yeah. Well, he got the dealy dealio, man. The dealio. All right. Anything else out there, folks? Old Wolf. Letter K. You got it. Three dollar claim in round you know, seven. Old Wolf. And then the letter last claim K. I see. I knew somebody would get it. Chaos in Comics, the enemy of our other panelists, wants the max number one. Letter K. You got it, Chris. Three dollar claim in round seven. My, Chaos my, my Reigns. Chaos <laughs> Reigns. It means you've arrived if you have an nemesis. <laughs> yep. Uh, e. Uh, the max. max. One there is. Got it. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and close out that round. That was a that was a great round. Anybody watching this on the rewind, you can still claim these books simply by referencing round seven, either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. And. I can add these to your pile or start a new pile for you. And and JB, I'd just like to say for the 40 <laughs> people you got watching, just so you guys know, Comics for All People is claiming books and talking to you in the chat from a hospital bed. You can't keep the man down. <laughs> can't keep him down. All right, all right, all right. All right, next Another $3 round. We're in round eight. We are making great time, folks. We've got a $9.99 DC Mysteries of Love in Space Never Been Read on the board for only $3. Hmm. Big old thick mamma jamma, too. There you go. Next up, we've got Green Lantern number one variant cover. Green Lantern number one variant. Hmm. On the board, $3. Here's one I had on there. It was The Amazing Spider-Man number one, Dark Horse Nova Speedball. Don't know why it's in there, but that's what the chat decided that day. So here it is, $3. How about the Avengers? What number is this? I can't tell the numbering system on this. Well, it's not one. We know that. Interesting. It's, it's a dope book. That's cool. All right, here's a five dollar one. The <laughs> Avengers number thirty six cover B, incentive Hasbro cover. Ooh. Is that a copy? Is that a reprint of it or number four? four? Or it's number three. It's Avengers number thirty six. Ah, and these are uh, Hasbro toys. Okay, so it's a homage. Yeah, I think that's kind of yeah, cool. Dude. That's kind of cool. All right, huh. what else we got here? Ooh, ooh. ooh. I didn't put this price tag on there. This is the that Spider-Man booth, but Scarlet Spider, number seven. What's the price tag? Zero when you need it's got a five dollar price tag on it, but it's available okay. right now for three bucks. Throw it in your pile, folks. Throw it in the pile. All right. How about West Coast Avengers number one? Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Three bucks. Ooh, Uncanny X Men Annual. Number one variant. 
Uncanny X Men Annual the Number One loose, Variant. Three dollars. Three dollars. Oh, you know, there's people that love them. Some Scotty Young. How about Little X versus Marvel X? Was that A versus X variant number one? Some Scotty Young goodness. Only three dollars on the board. On the board. Come on, man. Next up, we've got Deadpool Merc without a mouth. Number three. Don't know why we had that one in there, but there we go. It's on the board. And the oh, not second to last one in a in a mylar for some reason. How about Cyber Force number three? Interesting. I would have thought that would have been in the dollar bin, but hey, here's another. Oh my goodness, another DC 9.99 80 page giant, never been read. DC's Nuclear Winter Special. 10 cataclysmic carols another big old fat book not ten dollars three dollars here today wow you're good round yeah, yeah, that is a movie homage for the deadpool that's what it is a movie homage one bro i think that's Wait. oh no, that's what it was. It was a movie homage one. Yeah, someone's gonna jump on that shit, man. Come on, people. And we are starting off with two gun Pedro, letter G. You got it, two gun Pedro, three dollar claim in round eight. Thank you very much for participating today, two gun Pedro. Letter G it is. And my man James claimed I. <laughs> James Watson's the next claim on the board. Letter I, $3 claim in round eight for James Watson. Letter I. Solid, solid pick. Next up. Toy Crunch, letter L. Hey, Toy Crunch, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. Toy Crunch. Getting on the wheel, my friend. No, actually, Toy Crunch, you already have free shipping and shit, man. You got free shipping and a credit. You know who else has a credit? Unruly's got a credit. Sensaro's Sinsa got a credit. I reach out to Sensaro. I'm like, dude, not only do you have books here, but I owe you money. He's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> All right. Toy Crunch, $3 claim in round eight. <laughs> What did he get? Letter L. L. You got it, Toy Crunch. Looks like uh, Old Wolf with F. Old Wolf. $3 claim in round eight. Says I'll take letter F. Got a young goodness. $3. And the homage cover goes to Steven Spock. Letter B. Steven Spock. Great pickup, Steven Spock. Three dollar claim in round eight. Says, Great give book. me that movie homage cover. You got it, my friend. You have got it. Here All right, got sharp seller letter J. All right, at the end, sharp seller three dollar claim in round eight. Uh, and H, sharp seller. I got you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Uh. I'm still waiting for you to kind of, I don't know if you're on Instagram or go ahead and hit me up on my email at discoverybaycomics at gmail.com. So we can start a string there. Sharp seller. You had a uh, H and J and J you got and... it. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up, John. <laughs> and then we have, Huggably soft with letter A. You got it, Huggably. Of course we do a pile for you, Huggably. Yeah, Conquistador, you're almost there. I bet you you could you, you need another three or four books. I think you were at 11, um, con uh, Javi. I'm sorry. Where was I at? Uh, a, Huggably soft. Huggably. $3 claim, round eight. Huggably says, give me letter A. You got it. And the final claim I see is Chaos and Comics, letter C. 
Chaos and Comics, you got it. $3 claim round eight for Chris at Chaos and Comics. Chaos and Reigns in 2020. And you got uh, to uh, Toy Crunch complimenting your shirt. Oh, yeah. I got I to gotta show the shirt again. I got to show the shirt again. All right. So anybody watching on the Rewind, if you're interested in any of the three books left on the board, go ahead and reference round eight. I am closing round eight, and we're going to move on to round nine. Round eight. Let's go ahead and uh, really quickly change this here. And I want to make sure I get this right because I kind of screwed this up. So what it is is I am in the um, Simple Man's Comics Patreon. I'm a Patreon supporter. And if you're at a certain level and I don't know what it is, so I don't want anyone to quote me on this, you get either a couple of books or a T-shirt and a book. So this was not a throw-in above and beyond. This is part of the program. But this shirt is so freaking cool, man. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. It's really good. That it's is like, like good. freaking awesome. And then you get the sleeve hit for the for the simple man. So this is part of their Patreon thing. And you and the book was fire too, right? I mean, it, the books are fire and the t-shirt's cool. Because, dude, I'm a t-shirt whore. Come on. Um, but I did want to clear that up because there are some people thinking that I got the shirt for free. I did not get the shirt for free. Not that I won't take your free shirt because I will. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm just saying, this one wasn't free. <laughs> and uh, JB, we have Hobby asking if that we're going to go to five or ten dollars during this, or no. You know what? Let Did me check. The, see that let me check the box over the there. The threes were fire. Yeah, there's pretty good ones in there. Yeah. Well, I keep waiting for the Action Comics to return in the ten dollar yes. round. <laughs> We yeah, will. the final round will go five, Javi. Five, the oh. final round will go five. The last right. round will go five. What round are we in now? Nine? Nine. Okay, yeah, this is we'll go three and then five. Oh, yeah. Three. Yeah, well, while he's setting up, I, I just want to let you know, Mr. Comics 89, mm -hmm. I. Uh, I forgot your actual name, but if you're interested in Superman, I got an awesome Lois Lane oh, coming up. All right. right. But yeah, Superman and Spider-Man are my two right. my two guys, hence my logo. So. <laughs> okay, so now we are in round nine. We're going $3. These are pretty cool, actually, man. I bet you these. I hope these go. Because we're going to run them right across the top. X-Men Black. Number one, Magneto. Nice. B and D. X-Men Black, number one, Emma Frost. Dude. Come on, man. Hubba hubba. Hubba hubba. Uh, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, number 10, Variant. Uncanny X-Men, number 10, Variant. Scout Comics number one, Rise. That's interesting. Yeah, that is some J. Scott Campbell goodness, isn't it? Uh, no, we'll move that over there. Move that over here. Ouch. All right, all right, all right. Can I help you? I'm. We're almost done. I'm, I got two rounds left, and then I'll be right with you. Come on. Okay, next up is... Who is Shadowhawk from Image Comics number one? Hmm. Very cool. How about John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction? Issue number one of five. John <laughs> Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction, issue number one of five. Creepy old lady cover. Hey, Scott Farr, thank you very much for those kind words. Yeah, we had a great new year. My daughter's over here trying to get on the camera. Come on, man. I told you about this, girl. Yeah, you want to watch me? Okay, go get your tablet and turn it on. <laughs> I can use the view. <laughs> Star Trek Deep Space Nine, number one. You know, I thought about doing that, starting another channel, just so I can give myself an extra like and view. Go back. You know, I don't even think she can watch me because I said I was adult content. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. Oh, this one's cool. Justice League number 26. 
I don't know why that was in there, but that was a cool cover. Nice. Okay. Probably a three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. We have X, a reason. Another X Men number one. X Men the Exterminated number one. I don't know. Okay. There you go. Man, this is a really cool cover too. Justice League twenty four. Nice. Mm, that. That's a sweet cover. How about Justice League of America two nineteen? I wonder why that was in there. Three bucks. Mm. Just old school. Old Black. school, crazy, crazy, crazy. And the final three dollar book. Let's go with just. This is a sweet cover. This will. This should go. Justice League Dark number five variant. Yep. Yeah. Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Bangers. Bangers. And the last book just went down. All right. Yep. Back there. Let's get the starting line in. Sharp seller. My email is Discovery Bay Comics at gmail.com. So it's basically the channel name. No spaces. Channel name at gmail.com. Starting line round nine. Let's get the starting line in there. Round nine. Let's see if anybody's ready to claim a book. Huggably, you gotta wait for the starting line, man. Gotta wait for the starting line, Huggably. All right. We got old wolf with letter E. Old Wolf, three dollar claim in round nine. Old Wolf, letter E. Bam. You got it, sir. Got uh, James with F. You got it, James Watson, letter F. $3 claim in round nine. And I beat out all the other competitors for C. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Finger on the trigger the whole time. James Watson was F. Yeah. You got it. And Mr. Comics 89. Are you looking on YouTube or StreamYard? I'm looking on YouTube. Okay. Are we still good? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I can see the difference in order on the between the two, so I'm following on YouTube. Right. So you did grab that J. Scott Campbell. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it looks like Huggably Soft still managed to get his letter A. Awesome, awesome, Huggably. Three dollar yeah. claim, round nine for Huggably. Got letter A. Nice. That looks like that clears it. I think we got Sean Richards on L. Sean Richards says, I'll take letter L. $3 claim in round nine. Letter L it is. Rise, number one. Scout Comics. And then we got James, letter B. James Watson. James Watson, three dollar claim in round nine for James Watson. Letter B. And then I have two gun Pedro barely beating out chaos for letter D. You got it. Two gun takes it. Three dollar round nine claim. Two gun beats out the barrel. chaos in letter D. All right, all right, all right. I think we're going to go ahead and close out round nine. Round nine is closed, man. That was a great round. Let's go ahead and sweep the board off. We're going to change the overlay because the final round is going to be a $5 round. Final round is $5, folks. And I have those set aside right here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> change the overlay. Let's change the overlay and see what we got here. In the five dollar. Now I didn't. I didn't sort these. Other people sorted these. So we're gonna mix. Give them a little mix. Uh, give them a little mix. Hold on. So yeah, we gotta yeah. give them a little. Well, first one I gotta put up there is. I think this is so cool. This should go. The new Teen Titans number one. I know it's not the the number one, but yeah. man, that Wolfman Perez. Look at that. Good lord. It's nice. a sweet book. It is. Five bucks. 
And then, hold on, I know someone was asking for these specifically, and we had them in here. How about a really nice copy? G.I. Joe 68 and 66. Mm. No 69? No 69, you. <laughs> Perry. All right, how about Rebirth number one for Green Lantern? Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. There y'all go. If you don't have one. it. Don't have it. Now you jump on that one. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Ooh. How about some Detective 646? Interesting. I believe that's a minor key, possibly a cameo. How about Superman number one? Hold up. Hold up. That's the New 52 number one. New 52 number one. Yeah, Perez. Yeah, I'm looking for number 52. <laughs> How about Shadow of the Bat, number three? Nice. New stand. And red. number four. Both of them with the red barcode. Uh, there, I have these tied together, so I must have had... Oh, this is three books in the storyline. Remember? Superman 89, 88, 87. Three books, 89, 88, 87. Mm. Three books. Mm, 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 mm. All right, next up we got, I mean, this is how we sorted them, so we'll see. Um, this one's just Green Lanterns, number one. Another Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number 23. I don't know. I don't know, folks. We'll see. Might do something crazy at the end of this one. Let's see. And the last one I don't, was this a variant of some sort? This is a variant cover to Aquaman number six variant. All right. All right. We'll try it. We will try it. We will try it. <laughs> now, what's the worst thing that can happen? They don't sell. You're good. They're going to sell. Okay, here we go, folks. This is the final round, and then we're going to break out the wheel and find out who is winning free shipping today. I predict over half, if not all. Here we go, Wait. folks. Round 10 is started, and let's see if there's anybody interested in any of these books. Well, we got 36 chambers wanting the D. 36. You know, I put that in D for a reason, right? 36 chambers. Tattoo studio. Great artist. Great artist. Great. Five dollar claim in round ten. Says, "Give me the D, JB." <laughs> and then I love signed comics. Letter G. You got it, my friend. Thanks for joining in. I love signed comics. Or then Batman are pretty nice. Round ten <laughs> says, "I'll take G, JB." You got it, my friend. You got it. And, and then K, well, he can tell you. K goes to me. You got it, Matt. Five dollar claim in round ten for Mister Comics eighty nine. Letter K is yours. Letter K is yours. And uh, then we got James Watson. Letter H. James Watson says, "I'll take H." And I. And E. And F. So James Watson, letter H, letter I, letter E, letter F. No J? H. Hold on. No. It's good. I love sign comics, got J. Yeah. Okay. H. Uh, I. E. E. F. Wow. And he just claimed letter L as well. The G.I. Joe in the corner. Wow. And like you already said, I love sign comics with J and I see no further claims. Wow. And that will end the show. And I'd just like to point out I was right in my prediction. Yeah. <laughs> I love five dollars or ten letters. Oh, that was probably the best round. I'm surprised no one went for the sketch cover with A. 
Yeah, no, all, that's great. Good buys, every one of them. All right, all right. So what we got to do now, gentlemen, is you guys have got to keep the chat busy as I get this wheel ready to find out who's going to win free shipping today on the well, comic book pop-up shop show. Well, I can I can give you a little bit of preview here. This there is a go. book going up. Ooh, Ooh that's a book that, going up. Six. I thought oh, officially it closed it. Let me officially close round 10. Yep. That, that book is yeah. gone. We also have a lot of die books. This happens to be a trade that in with it. Nice. All right, let's get the wheel going. Then I have some other stuff going to be appearing as well. All right, I will put you back into the group. Let's get the wheel out. Let's yeah. Get this thing going here. Like uh, I'll, I'll go ahead, Mr. Comics, dude. What are you I was going to say, someone earlier asked, I think it was downright nerdy, asked what kind of mic I was using. It's uh, this one. I just got it. No, so. Oh, that's right. different. How much was that thing, if you don't mind us asking? It was 25 I don't have a lot of money to be boosting up and taking care of my channel, but a little money here and there, so I decided to test out a mic. and It sounds great. So, dude, yeah. did it? Yeah, everything you do to add to help your uh, channel usually helps a lot, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, because I've been I've been uh, editing my voice, you know, taking it from like 100 to 400% when I edit videos to make myself louder to make sure people can hear me. So, but otherwise, I haven't been able to do anything when I go live. So, this should help with all of it. All, of it, so. So. all right. So, let me get this board set up. We got I Love Signed Comics. Thanks for stopping in, man. Yeah. I love signed is in on the wheel. Well, thank you everybody for stopping by. James, man, if, I'm telling you, if James Watson hits free shipping, I'm screwed. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that that man, how how much is shipping to Europe anyway? Well, his one box, the little $15 priority mailer with 50 books in it was 40 well 38 dollars and some change that wasn't all that bad yeah i thought it'd be more you know that's pretty good well, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that post office i was mailing my stuff on monday that uh international is like 20 to 30 to 40 dollars going okay that's yeah yeah well, but it, still what costs 15 dollars to send in the united states costs 38 dollars yeah. to send over right. well, it's I, I was pricing yeah. some artwork one time to go overseas, and it was going to cost one hundred and seventy dollars to ship. Eesh. Oh man, that's brutal! I got myself. <laughs> Needless to say, I did not ship it. Yeah, that's that's big money, no whammies, right there. Thirty six chambers is on now. If I announce your name and you're on the wheel and you've already won free shipping, please just mention it so I can well, you know swap that out. Right. You just showed up. And the Scarlet Spider stuff already went. Oh, D-Runk. Man, I had Scarlet Spider for you, bro. Yeah. I still have free shipping, so you don't have to add me on there. You got it, my friend. Bam. You got it. Two Gun, <laughs> James Watson, Sean Richards. Sean, thank you very much for participating today. Huggably is on the wheel. Says, I want a spot, JB. Give me a spot. Huggably is on the wheel. James Watson's on the Old Wolf. Let's get Old Wolf on the wheel. So, do you got any ideas who your guest is going to be tonight, Discovery? No, I'm actually looking for a nighttime guest for tonight, man. I get, yeah. You know what? I'd love to get like chaos and comics on there. Hey, K is Chris Sard in the house? I'd love to get you on the show tonight, man, if you're available. Hey, JB. Yeah. CFAP, comment. CFAP. JB, if James wins, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. You ain't messing. Sharp <laughs> Seller is on the board. Sharp seller on the board. Okay, Steven Spock. Do you get Steven? Yeah, Steven Spock. That's a good one. Steven Spock. Yeah, we had a lot of people participate today. Thank you guys. Thanks, everybody. 
Well, Toy Crunch. No, Toy Crunch already has, right? Yeah, Toy Crunch has already has free shipping, so you ain't going on the board. Two Gun, Two Gun just shipped, but you're already on there. Chaos Reigns, Old Wolf is now on. Huggably. CFAP. Come on, man. He's starting a fresh new box. Let's get CFAP on there. I got 52 books in that $15 mailing. <laughs> I wasn't even playing, dude. Not playing around, dude. I ain't even playing. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just check in the names. Everybody's all these names. Short fill, James Warren, and Sharp. Alright, I think I got everybody. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna go over the names. Yeah. Chaos and Good Comics. Day, Old Wolf. Huggably, Sean Richards, I Love Signed Comics, 36 Chambers, James Watson, Two Gun Pedro, CFAP, Steven Spock, Sharp Sellard. I didn't say Sharp Seller twice, right? No. Uh, okay, and Chaos and Comics is where we started. Here we go, folks. We're going to spin the wheel and find out which one of these people is going to be getting free shipping today. D Rung wants a $50 round. <laughs> and it's looking like I love signed comics. Thanks for joining me today, bro. You got free shipping. I love signed comics. Scores <laughs> free shipping in today's pop up shop. Yeah. I love signed. Good Big, stuff. Biggie, you froze. Hey, at least it was a smile on his face. Yeah, I know. I it's a perfect way to freeze. <laughs> nice. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and switch this over to here. Got this. Congratulations, I Love Cyan Comics. Your claims today are shipping on me. Please reach out to me if you participated today, either via Instagram or email at discoverybaycomics at gmail.com or at sign at Discovery Bay Comics. And let's uh, see which, um, you know, if you want to, if you're ready to ship. Some people are ready to ship. Some people aren't ready to ship. No pressure. I got plenty of space. I got a new filing system here that's it's taken up very little space. I reused all my old Spider-Man booth boxes, so each one of those is a holding, is like a, a little box holding your comics. So yeah. people got boxes assigned to them. It's nice and smooth, and uh, I'll be sent. I'm gonna take pictures of this round today and send them out to people, so you guys know what we got going on. And uh, let's actually check with you know with the group. Matt, thanks for joining me, bro. What have you got coming up? Not much. Just um, the, what I had was basically this morning, you know, um, my wish list for 2020. And I want to do a live video sometime today to test out my new mic here. So cool. Well, hit, hit, shoot me the hot tag, man. Shoot me the hot tag. Yeah, just, I'll yeah. jump in with you. Oh, yeah. All right. Big Will, you're almost ready. What? You're you're about an, an two hours, 15 minutes from you going live with this auction. Something like that, yeah. Two hours, 15 minutes, folks, and we're going to be heading over to Big Will's for his live auction. And his his auction, guys, I'm telling you, you have to be strategic. It's not I'm going to put a dollar more than the next guy because you got basically one shot to submit. You got a two-minute timer. You're going to have one shot to submit. It's really cool. I dig the, I dig the format. The way and, it's, and, sorry. Go ahead. So the way it seemed to me was almost like um, eBay on YouTube, you know, because of the yeah. – auction the, once the clock's yeah. gone it's gone that's it that, that, that did, we lose, did we lose did we lose shack I, I just, I just no no you you're, you're just frozen oh god dog it let me check <laughs> <laughs> all right so um and then tonight you know uh we mentioned earlier rob worst is going to be doing uh, not near mint with lady fantastic and that's going to be great and then tonight if you can't sleep Come swing back by Discovery Bay Comics for some nighttime version of JB in the classic disco after dark. That's right. Hey, I'm looking for a guest. If anyone wants to get interviewed, maybe, you know, but put under the hot seat. I'm, I'm trying to do the thing with the two, peop two people in the format where I'm actually looking at them while they're talking <laughs> thing, you know. So, yeah. you know, if I get do a little one on one interview, yeah. uh, if anybody's interested, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram. Also, if you notice, I did the what's on today both at the halfway point of this show and I did it this morning at 9 a.m. If you want to get in that show, it's really, really simple. Get your shit in, man. Just put your stuff up on, on YouTube because I'm going to put it in my playlist. My show is now based <laughs> on the playlists. So if you want to get in the What's On Today playlist, get your premiere, get your live, get your stream set up, and then you can always go back and change it. You can add your <laughs> thumbnail later. 
You can change your time later. You can change the description later. But if you got it in there, then I can get it in the I get it in the lineup. Well, I think that's it, folks. Right? We did we did the shipping. We have toy, I love sign comics. Pops in. Claim some books. Pop. Free shipping, just like that. All those other people are going. Sons of bitch. Where the hell was? Unless you have a fifty dollar round, I think we're good. I think we're good. No, I, I don't have a fifty dollar round. I do want to thank everybody that joined me through the entire stream. If you stayed with me the entire time, great. If you were popping in and out, awesome. If you're catching this on the rewind, thank you so much for watching me. And I want to really thank my guest host, Big Will, Biggie Shack, Mister Comics eighty nine. As always, I'm going to say, you know what I'm going to, you know how we're going to say, right? Don't forget, we had a good time. Had a good time. Ah. We had a good time. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. <laughs>